Uh, the next story I want to cover, because it just happened an hour ago, is that Rails 4.1 is released. Mm. Uh, so Touchdown. the new version of Ruby on Rails is out, 4.1. Nice. It's not like a big major version. It's not Rails 5, but it's a it's a pretty big version. It's like a medium sized version. Okay, so anyone running a site on Ruby on Rails, which is um, anyone from like as big as Twitter to our website, Twitter's not using Rails anymore. They're using Scala. Using it. Yeah, but but like okay, Hulu, Groupon, uh, SoundCloud, Living Social, blah, tons blah, of big blah. sites. Yes. Um, so you this can affects. go ahead and upgrade. The reason that it affects us is because we have to update our videos now. Yay! <laughs> Actually, we don't because this is not. They added some features. Cool, right? Cool. Some cool features, even. But it doesn't actually break anything about what was happening in the past. So there's no need to upgrade, really. Well, is there any one feature that's super exciting in Rails uh, 4.0.1? Well, one thing is, you, when you used to want to do, like, say, rake tasks or like tasks in the application, you'd have yeah. to start up the entire application just to do that little thing and then shut it all down. Okay. And now there's something called Spring, which is an application preloader. Whoa. It basically preloads the whole thing yeah. for you. And then whenever you change a file, it'll only then like reload that like part of the application. So you don't have to start it all up and then break it all down. Okay, so so you don't have to start the whole server, basically? It's like quicker to start and work on Rails apps? Yeah, it'd be like, imagine you didn't have to keep turning your car on and off when you wanted to drive. Well, Even though maybe that like, you're like, on was a hill only a and second. You push it down like, the hill. like you never have to turn it off. Like okay. you can go to the, you just step out, go to the mall, right, go shopping. Get back in the car and you just keep driving. You don't have to fumble for keys. Yeah. Put them in the ignition. Turn it's it like, on. It's like a bike, kind of. Yeah. Or it's like you know never having to. Yeah, it's like a bike. Yeah. Like a bike is always on. Yeah. It's like stairs. It's like stairs. Stairs never shut off. Yeah. It so is always walk on them. Rails has, has gone from being like a car to being like stairs. And it's a great thing. Yeah. Um, this is great. So if you are one of a uh, student of one month and you're working with Rails. You might want to check this out. There's some exciting new updates, it sounds like. You will even do a video on Maybe some Maybe we'll updates. even do a follow-up video for the nerds. Probably not, because I don't know if any of this is too relevant for people. So it's kind of high-level stuff, but, but don't freak out if your site is Rails. It sounds like you'll still be okay. It's fun, but so you can go to this, this update post, and then these two guys even did a feature walkthrough, which is kind of nice. Dum, da, dum, da, dum.